Hello YouTube, I'm back with a review on the joystick tough paint marker. This thing is super durable and very opaque, so I'm going to show you on a whiteboard. As you can see, very clean lines. You can get them from skinny, fat, and medium, whatever you prefer. Also, you can get very good drips. Also a note, at first, it doesn't take long to pump it down to get it flowing maybe only a couple seconds I'm also going to be doing a review on the Genobo scrawler the paint stick very clean lines I did it straight on so mine looks like this now also you can do it from the side does fine also on the sides you can touch it just take off the cardboard it's not going to get on your hands but if you touch where you're using the paint then it's really sticky also I'm gonna do a review on the oink monster mop looks pretty good there you go very clean lines with one squeeze really at the beginning and now let's try to make it drippy A little hard to get drips. I was squeezing fairly hard and barely any drips. Here's gonna be me trying to cover the oink ink with some iron lac. I'm spraying on quite a bit and it's coming through very well. I'm going to try to cover the tough paint with the white iron lac. That's coming through fairly good. And now I'm going to try the paint stick. And it came through fairly well. There you go. The best comes through. Hard, very hard to buff. Would, of course, be the oink ink. There you have it. I'm going to now do a cap review on Iron Lac using German Outline number 4, NY Fat, Sabotage Ultra Fat, Pink Dot, Orange Dot. This is the NY Fat. Here is the orange dot. Flows very nice, comes out really fat with the orange dot. 
comes out very fat with the Sabotage Ultra Fat. Pretty medium line with the German Outline number 4. Pretty medium with the pink dot. Very skinny with the uh, pink cap that comes with it. Very skinny with the, I believe, black dot. There you have it. My personal favorite would probably be the orange because it has a more better flow to it also it's very fat but the fattest line was the Sabotaz ultra fat also a note on the smell iron lac just smells like burnt plastic so if you don't mind that smell pick up some iron lac it's a great quality paint thank you subscribe for more